Hello, this is Marvin McKenzie. I want to take the time right now to walk you through the process of using iMovie. I have a MacBook Pro that I bought. Um, it was a year ago last September when I purchased this. Uh, and one of the features that I have liked the most, I guess there's almost been, in some ways, a love-hate relationship with uh, iMovies. Uh, and I say love-hate because um, it kind of crashes pretty frequently. I, I'm, I realize I'm kind of working it pretty hard uh, because I do an awful lot of videos. I, uh, I'm a preacher and I like to uh, download my sermons, on, uh, upload them onto my computer. I do some editing work with iMovies. Um, you know, you can buy some other material, but this is what comes with my computer. I want to be able to use what I have. And it does crash a little bit. In fact, it crashed just for a second. It started to crash. Uh, one of the times it does that most frequently is when I'm trying to upload uh, or, or import um, videos in here for editing. And it'll, it'll very frequently crash right about now when I do that. It'll uh, give me a screen. It just shows me that it's not responding and it won't work. Uh, what I generally have to do is um, I just completely turn off the program iMovies, that is. Um, I completely uh, quit it uh, and, um, and then restart it. And, and when I do that, um, uh, it, it usually works, you know, the next time or, or time after that. So here I am. What I'm doing is I'm actually taking um, a whiteboard Bible study that I made and I'm putting a couple of things together with it. Um, and to build this iMovie program. So you, you use the, uh, you import your videos. You've got some videos and some material, some audio material or some uh, pictures or some video material that you're going to import into the program. And after you import them, then they're going to be up in the upper, upper left corner as they are there. And I'm going to take them from there, drag them down into the section where I want to begin to use them. In this case, you can put in multiple files. And so there's an order you want to put them in. And so uh, it turns out that, um, that the one I wanted to be my first uh, video was the last video. And so now I have to kind of put them in the right order, the order that I want them. But I can, I can do that um, and take the time to get them set up uh, and get them all on here onto the screen. After I've got them on and, and, uh, and get them all down here so that they're uh, on my timeline so that I'm able to work if, with them from there. All right, once I have all of my, um, my media onto the timeline in the order that I wanted them, wanted them to be, the next thing that I did in this case is uh, um, I had to learn a brand new thing. Uh, so I was, did this on purpose for another uh, project that I was working on. I, I had to learn how to, um, I clip to make a clip, split the, split the, the video, and, and then I wanted to learn how to fast forward it so that a portion of the, of the video would, would uh, fast forward through. And actually you're seeing me use that. I just used it uh, briefly a moment ago and I'll use it again two or three times so that instead of uh, having what starts out when I began the video that I'm showing you right now with uh, 16 minutes of material, I'm going to be able to cut it down significantly from that by uh, um, uh, once, I, once I've once i gone through and shown you a, a process that I use, then I can just fast forward through that uh, after we've shown the process, fast forward through doing the process, performing the process, and um, and then move on from there. And so I've got all my material onto the timeline. I've gone through and I've uh, made some clips out. And then once I've done that, I um, I take the sections that I wanted to turn, wanted to fast forward and get that taken care of, and get that process done, uh, and 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 out of my way. To use the fast forward feature, just uh, select this clip that you want to fast forward, go up to in your menu, drop down menus into modify and you'll see a fast forward selection there and you just uh, click whatever speed it gives you from two times to 20 times the speed that you want to fast forward and, um, and it works really well. I found it to be pretty convenient. Point I'm adding some background music to the, to the iMovie video that I created in, in this case. And uh, so I'm using a piece of music I created on GarageBand uh, on my iPad, and uh, I've got it saved in, in Dropbox. And so I go to find that, and uh, by the, it's music that I created personally so that I can do that with. 
uh, use it um, at my own discretion how I want to. And I'm going to go ahead and install that to get that uh, piece of music uh, on here in the background. I'm going to put it on here in the section that I want it and then I'm going to work with the volume. Um, volume is up in the upper right corner of your uh, iMovie screen. So what you do is you would click on the section you want to um, edit. Um, so you've highlighted that section which in this case would be the music section. Then you go into that upper right hand corner where you see the speaker. You click on that and it'll give you option of how, um, of, of, uh, how loud you want it to be. And then your final stage, of course, is saving the video. I save it into my download file. You give it a name, um, and the name usually comes because of when you created the, your, your uh, video. This is Marvin McKenzie. Uh, glad that you watched this. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm always uh, anxious to learn new t tips and tricks.